Today we're going to cook one of my favorite Filipino dish, right? So it's quite easy and I know you guys love this too, but I want to share my recipe or my, my version of it. All right, so um, it's called beef and broccoli, all right? So uh, it's something easy, something really, really nice. And uh, let's start. Hold on, guys. Yeah, so before we start, don't forget to say hi to our uh, comment section or our chat box. Feel free to say hi and where you're watching right now. All right, hi to um, Rachel Ruales. Am I correct? All right. How are you guys doing today? Everything good? So, uh, beef and broccoli, all right? Let's start with our ingredients. All right, let me see if you can see it well. All right, so we've got this beautiful beef filet. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take one of my knife. So let's just cut it or slice it into strips or even, you know, like um, bite sizes. It's also fine. So I'll cut it into strips. What is your uh, favorite ulam? Oh, thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for the Palipad, friend. Thank you so much. My friend is watching from uh, UK. Her name is Epps Vlogs. Uh, you can also check out her channel. She does like reaction videos. So let's just cut it like that. It's kind of easy to do it. Nothing complicated about it. It's just you need to, you know, um, season your uh, your beef really well. And uh, my way of cooking the broccoli is quite different. So I'm gonna show you how I how I cook it later on when we're done with our beef. Make sure you have some nice, uh, you've got some nice uh, beef, you know, fresh beef. So that's the key of a really, really nice beef and broccoli, because it's quite simple actually. It's only a few ingredients, so it has to be fresh. Otherwise, it's, it's not going to be, you know, that tasty. All right, we're almost done. Okay. All right. Take this here. So what we actually want to do, hi to Alvin's Kitchen and Helen, hi. So what we want to do is that we want to marinate this lovely beef right here, right? So I'm going to take one bowl. What we're going to do is uh, I'm going to put some, of course, the base of our uh, marinade is going to be the oyster sauce. So. Feel free to use whichever oyster sauce you want, but I love mamacitas, you know that. So, I'm gonna use some of that. Around 100 grams of oyster sauce. And I need some uh, smokiness, you know, smoky flavor. If you have some barbecue marinade, you can also use that. About uh, a tablespoon. We don't want to overpower it with a barbecue, a barbecue, barbecue taste, but I just want to add some smokiness in it, right? So you can chop some uh, fresh ginger, 
but uh, in this recipe, I'm going to use turmeric, right? Just a little bit. Maybe around uh, a tablespoon will be fine as well. Just to add some uh, really nice clean taste to our beef. I'm good, Alvin. Thank you so much for asking. How are you guys doing? All right. So a tablespoon of turmeric. All right. Let's just mix it. Look at the color, you know? it's nice. It's because of the, um, the turmeric as well that is mixed into our uh, barbecue marinade and the oyster sauce. You guys feel free to use some soy sauce, but uh, I think I'm not going to use some soy sauce in here. Um, fish sauce, okay, patis, a little bit. Because uh, this is uh, quite strong. This is um, made from anchovies. So, but it's really, really good. Kung mapupunta kayo sa Sicily, you have to try this one. This, this is the local patis here in Sicily, right? It's called Colatura di Alici. Really good, guys. Trust me. And uh, just a little bit of... Not too much, right? So, I just want to have a hint of uh, lemony or uh, some lime or calamansi, just a little bit, not too much. So we don't want it to be sour, okay? We just want to balance everything out. Wow, I wanna taste it. Wow, delicious. All right, so what we're going to do, let's put our, or let's add our beef, All right? We already added some salt. Okay, just washing my hands. So, uh, we, we already added our patis, so I'm not gonna add more salt. I'm going to add some pepper. All right? I want it more uh, peppery. So if you can add some more, just go ahead. Mm. So look at that beautiful color. I'll show you here. Hope you can see it well. All right. It's the color of the turmeric that makes it really beautiful, like really glossy right now. A little bit like orangey. Okay, so uh, we're gonna wash this one. We're not gonna cut our vegetables here because we already cut our beef. So to, um, to avoid cross-contamination, we just wash it right away. Also our knife, all right? So uh, it's, a, it's a must, all right? So, uh, <clears throat> Alvin has a question. He said, how long do you have to marinate the beef? All right. So, uh, in this case, we're going to marinate for a few minutes because we are live right now. But if you want, you can do it like overnight or uh, one hour, four hours. But, of course, the more you marinate it, the, the, the taste will be more intense, right? But I suggest if you're gonna do it, like for example, if you're gonna if you're gonna cook it like the day to, or, or the next day, just don't add the lemon yet, right? So add the lemon just before you cook it, all right? Because we you you uh, you will um, cook the beef with the acid of the lemon, right? Set it aside here. All right. So uh, now let's prepare our broccoli so some people do it uh, like they uh, saute everything all together with the beef and the, the broccoli and stuff so i am not gonna do it like that what i'm gonna do or what i did is i i boiled some water okay what i want to do now is that i am going to add the 
this garlic, I will just cut it in half, okay? And put it in the water. So now I am infusing my boiling water, right? Because if you saute the, the broccoli right away here in the pan with the, with the beef, then this is, I don't want to lose the color of this beautiful broccoli, right? It will be, um, it will lose its color, right? So um, the, 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 the answer to that is that we have to blanch it, all right? We have to blanch it first here. But instead of putting it later to, to a cold water, we will just, you know, cook it in the pan. Because meron tayong garlic here in the water and we don't want to waste that, um, that's, that taste. We want our, our uh, broccoli to be garlicky, right? That's an extra flavor. So just cut it like that. Stick out leaves. We want it to be uh, vibrant green, right? So, and also, if you overcook some, uh, if you overcook the vegetables, the nutrients will just disappear, all right? So it has certain temperature that you can use or you can cook the vegetables to, to be able to maintain the nutrients and the vitamins. It's, it's actually rich with some um, vitamins, the broccoli, right? Like potassium, fiber, and uh, vitamins, vitamin D, or vitamin C, sorry. So uh, it's really, really important we know how, that we know how to cook it well. So uh, like this one, it's quite hard, right? What, what we want to do is just to take out those um, outer part that is hard, and we can still cook the stem of the broccoli. We don't have to throw it, all right? Just wait until you reach the soft part of it, and then you can add it to our dish, all right? So to avoid throwing this one, we have to have zero waste in our kitchen as much as possible. Hi to uh, John Mark Ferrono, watching from Kabul with my Taliban friends. Hi, hi, Senyo. Thanks you so much for watching. To all my friends in Taliban, John Mark and friends. All right, so you can see that I, I just, you know, cut it like in, into thin slices. You can feel it. If it's too hard, the outer part, you just take it off, discard it. The inside part, I'm, I can guarantee you, you can add it to your beef, beef broccoli, right? Okay. Hi to Li Lilia. Yes, hi Lilia. Hi. And uh, of course to Mary, Optimus Prime. Hi. Yes, everything is well, and uh, it's nice to see you. I know you're excited to uh, go back to Philippines, right? Let's cut it like this, not too small, right? In this recipe, you can serve it with some rice if you want. You can also add it into uh, noodles be nice this is my favorite food in uh, in the Philippines but I also found it in China guys right so I, it's not only in the Philippines that we have this beef broccoli and I really really love it it's the simplicity that I really, why, that's why I really love this one. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt, just a little bit, okay, to take some uh, taste from the water. And now I'm, I'm adding my broccoli, all right? 
Nice. See that? All right. So let's just wait it to be blanch. And we gotta, it's like, it's gonna be like uh, one or two minutes and that's it. So we're going to put it here later on. You see the color is changing. It's it's getting brighter. You see that color? It changed, right? Look how beautiful it is. So when it's overcooked, you will see uh, that color will be will oxidize and it will be gone. So that's what we want. This is the color that we want. All right. Hi to uh, J or G Landfield, Landyfield. Hi, watching from California, LA, California. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, I've washed it. Make sure you washed your uh, your broccoli very well. Because sometimes, you know, especially when it's really um, really really fresh there are insects you know with our vegetables so you you must wash it okay so that's it put it there so look at that look at the color guys this is what i'm talking about if you want use some garlic you can even um, put it in the cold water. That's even better. It will stop the, the cooking process. But since I want the garlic, you know, to be, to stay there, the garlicky taste, I will let, just let it sit there. All right. So actually, you can also do one more dish with this one. Uh, you can just put some olive oil, lemon, salt and pepper, that's it. You can make a salad out of this one, okay? Just blanched broccoli. It's really also, it's also really good. And now, maybe I'll show you later on. Magtitira ko ng konti para I can show you how you serve it without the beef, All right? So uh, as usual, as the usual, I'm going to use olive oil all right and i want to uh, saute some onions right i put it here i will saute some onions So, white onion, remember always to take out the roots, right? This makes you cry, right? Take out the skin, all right, so I'm going to cut it. Julian. Alvin, I blanched the broccoli for about a minute or so. When you see the color changed, that's it. Just take it out. You're, you're not boiling the, the broccoli. You just wanted to blanch it, right? So I'm waiting for my uh, onions 
I'm caramelizing my onions a little bit. Hi to Violetta. Thank you so much, Mary. All right, you can also add some garlic here if you want. But since I already have my garlic taste here in our broccoli, I won't add in our uh, saute anymore. All right, so that's it. It's pretty much all of it. Now we, we just have to balance everything out, especially the taste. All right. So let's wait until it's really caramelized. So two to three minutes should be okay, it should be done. Yum. Okay, now I'm going to add our delicious beef. Just like that. Wow. I hope you can smell what I can smell right now. It's really delicious. I'm really a fan of turmeric. Wow, it's really, really nice. So I, I just added a little bit of water here. So we won't throw this beautiful and tasty leftover from the marinade. I'm gonna add it later on. So look, look guys, this is what we're cooking now. Okay. Let's just saute it. So easy, right? High flame, no? You need to cook it in high flame. If you have some wok at home, it's also good. So if you want it to be uh, a little bit more like a spicy, or just to add some kick, I'm gonna use some uh, chili flakes. Yum. Beautiful color. Okay. Now I will add our broccoli. I want, just don't put the, the garlic, no? Okay. Yummy. Just let it stir fry. Yeah, this is my menu next week. Awesome, awesome. You can serve it with rice. You can serve it with pita bread. You can serve it with uh, noodles. It's actually so versatile, this dish. It's so easy, it's like less than 20 minutes, you can do this one. You can cook it, like, even if you're busy. So let's add this, uh, uh, another batch of marinade. So that's it. We are just waiting for our um, beef when it's ready and then we can plate. I love, I love the broccoli when it's not too soft. 
you know, let's, there's still the crunch in the uh, in broccoli. This is what that's the one I love. What about you guys? So I will try and uh, maybe adjust a little bit. So when you cook, don't forget to try everything out so you can adjust all the time. Hmm. Wow. That's it. Uh, it tastes good now. So um, I won't change anything. So just try the beef. I'm going to off it because it's done. I don't want to overcook the beef because when you overcook the beef, the tendency it will be so, 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 so uh, tough. It's just perfect. So since it's too thin, so it's just a few minutes and it's cooked. Yeah, <laughs> you're correct, Helen. You're going you're gonna to eat a lot of rice with this one. I love anything with turmeric, turmeric ties, turmeric rice. I will make this recipe this Saturday with pita bread indeed using filet mignon, strips, and medium rare. Wow, that's amazing. Sounds really amazing. All right. So, all right, before we uh, plate this one, I'm going to show you what you can do with our leftover um, broccoli. Actually quite easy. So, uh, for example, you have some uh, fish at home, all right, or um, some beef or some uh, chicken, and you want some really nice and easy uh, salad. What you can do from this broccoli is just put it in one bowl. Right. Before you add anything else, you have to add some olive oil. All right. And then we can add some pepper. Additional a little bit of salt and some lemon juice it's it's very easy i'll add a little bit of uh, basil leaves just to add some uh, nice and fresh taste from the herbs or you can use any herbs available right and what i'm going to do is This is actually um, uh, optional, but if you have some Parmesan cheese, you can just add some, it's either add some scaglie, how do you call that? So slice it very thinly or grate it, right? This will give, re it, and Parmesan cheese really works well with broccoli. Anything you cook with broccoli, if you add some Parmesan cheese, oh yum, perfect combination, All right? Just add it there and give it a toss. Maybe a little bit more of uh, some juice, okay? If you're vegetarian, you can do this one. Mmm, nice. Nice and simple, right? Nothing so uh, complicated. All right, so I'm gonna put it here. Now it's time to plate our dish. Of course, hindi naman natin isa serve without rice. So I prepared some rice earlier. Oops, fell down. All right. Uh, 
Let me get my plate, guys. I'm gonna use this one. All right. And uh, let's let's do it more special. Let's see how it will look like if we played it with like this. And uh, my rice is a little bit cold. <laughs> so I cooked it, I cooked it earlier. So just to show you how I can, how can we play it in a nice way, even if it's a, you know, a casual, a casual dish, Let's just make it more special. Just put it there. So I'm using uh, bas basmati rice. Okay. You can buy this anywhere in the supermarket, guys. In the kitchen where you can, it's better to have it at home, right? If you have some, uh, some visitors or you want to impress your uh, friends or loved ones. You see, it's, it's also nice to uh, serve it in a nice way. All right, so uh, let's add some, um, some of our uh, beef. Wow. Let's put you closer so you can see it well. All right. Add some beef more. Oh, nice. Some of our broccoli. And don't forget to put the salsa, okay? So with the salsa, I didn't put any cornstarch or flour you just have to reduce it I'm not against using some cornstarch but I think it's really nice if you know how to if you learn how to reduce your sauce right just you know practice makes it uh, perfect so all right gotta add some uh, a little bit of uh, herb to so make it nicer, All right? Oh wow! Crack just a little bit of pepper, additional pepper. Okay. No. Hope it's fine. All right. Just don't don't fall down. Okay, because uh, you know when we put the rice, it's kind of cold, so uh, it it uh, broke up. But uh, if you put it like in warm uh, rice, would be better. But uh, this is our dish for today. Wow! So it looks nice, and also we did some uh, our broccoli and parmesan salad. All right. So of course, let's try our dish. So uh, I'm gonna put, it, I'm gonna set this aside, and uh, just take one plate, and let's see how it tastes. Put some rice there. So, um, and yum. Hmm, let's see. Hmm, wow, it's amazing.
It's really, really, really good. The beef, it was uh, cooked nicely. And the, the, the broccoli, you have the crunchiness from the broccoli. It's not so soft, you know, like it's overcooked. And um, the umami flavor from the sauce, from the oyster, uh, the oyster sauce, and um, the barbecue marinade that we put, that we add, it added some smokiness or smoky flavor to our beef. The really, really nice complement with the broccoli, All right? Mmm. So, that's good. Mmm. Can you hear that? That's the, the, the texture I love with the broccoli. I don't know you guys, but I think one thing I can uh, I can do is um, I think I'm gonna add more uh, spiciness to it. The one we did today. It's either you uh, choose more, you know, the 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 chili that you're gonna put, maybe a little bit stronger, but it's fine because it's it has a little bit of sweetness from the onions, and then the beef, you know, the 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 taste of the beef is really nice. And the turmeric, which makes it really clean, you know, the taste is really clean. So, um, and I know you can do this, guys, because it's it's so quick, it's so easy. There's nothing complicated, and I think uh, you can do it my way, you know. Hmm. Now this is the the salad. Hmm. Can't say anything anymore because it's so delicious. So guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, I really hope to see you again. Um, you got new recipes every week and uh, check out my uh, new website. It's called www.chefmorrisdungeon.com but I'm still putting some more recipes to add because it's really new. So hopefully every recipe that we make every week it's going to be there so you don't have to worry about losing all the, the, the recipes that we're doing. So um, I promise you I'm going to share everything or every knowledge I know. All the techniques that you're finding, you can see it there. So uh, hi and goodbye to uh, Lilia, Violetta, Mary and Epps. Of course, uh, Salat Mana not today. Thank you so much. This is our recipe once again for today it's called beef broccoli a la chef morris danzen so happy cooking everyone goodbye so yes violetta you can add chili flakes <laughs> see you guys soon